Activity 6, One Step at a Time. Our robot can move forward and backward, but what if we want it to follow a more complicated path in order to avoid some obstacles? Putting your instructions in the correct order is very important if you want your robot to properly follow the path. From the 4-H project that we set up earlier, click on the plus sign to make a new program. Double-click on the program name to change it to Simple Path. Close the Content Editor area to allow more room. First, let's program our robot to move ahead straight for two rotations. Drag the Move Steering block from the Action Palette and attach it to the Start block. Let's set the power to 100. Now we need our robot to turn slightly, so we're going to use something called a swing turn. A swing turn is when one of the wheels stays in place while the other moves to turn the robot. Since only one wheel is moving, we only need to move one of the motors. We are going to use motor B. In order to do this, we will use the large motor block. Drag the large motor block after the move steering block. We could change this to affect a different motor, but for our path, we needed to move motor B. Set the power to 50. There is also a block called a move tank block. This lets you control the power of each motor individually. Change the power of both of these to 100, which will make our robot go straight. Now let's try a point turn. A point turn is when both motors are moving in opposite directions to make the robot turn. We use a move steering block for this as well. The difference is that we can modify the steering setting to negative 100 to make our robot turn left. Change the power to 50 and the rotations to 0.5. Finally, let's try a gradual turn using the move tank block. Drag the move tank block to the end of our program and change the first motor setting to 70 and the second motor setting to 100. The number of rotations will need to be set at 5. Just so you know, the EV3 counts the rotation of the motor that's moving the fastest. Be sure to save your work. Connect your robot to your computer and download the program. Unplug your robot and run the program. Please read the rest of the activity and then move on to Activity 7.